people of the internet and welcome back finally to some FNAF news and in today's video we have some massive updates in regards to the FNAF movie trilogy we have not only updates on the first FNAF movie with it coming back to theaters some brand new info on the upcoming second FNAF movie when it's filming as well as some details from Scott himself and lastly we even have some news that the third FNAF movie is already in production so that is what we're gonna be talking about today just a whole bunch of movie updates so of course going in order let's start off with the first FNAF film which thanks to Blumfest 2024 will actually be returning to theaters for one night only October 30th Halloween Eve exclusively to AMC theaters so if you're dying to rewatch the first FNAF film back up on the big screen October 30th is your date and actually hopefully with this re-release the film can tick over that 300 million dollars at the box office so even if it doesn't this film has been a massive massive success it's become Blumhouse's highest grossing horror film of course it was the highest grossing horror film of last year and it seems like even Universal and Blumhouse knew that they had a hit on their hands because even before the film was released we got news that Matthew Lillard who plays Willie Mafton in the film signed a three picture deal to star in three FNAF films so already we kind of knew that more FNAF films were planned and then at the end of the first movie we had the teaser of William turning into Springtrap then getting locked in the safe room by Golden Freddy and then also the puppets music box playing over the end credits with all of that setting up for a second FNAF movie and of course we all know by now that that's happening so now let's talk about the second FNAF movie and all the details we have on that the film is set to be released on the 5th of December 2025 so over a year from now Emma Tammy will return as director Josh Hutcherson Matthew Lillard Elizabeth Lale and Piper Rubio who play Mike William Vanessa and Abby are all set to be returning of course with a new entry comes brand new characters and we've heard reports that Jeremy Fitzgerald the night guard in the second FNAF game will reportedly have a role as well as a new major male role also being rumored for this sequel a lot of people theorizing that could be Henry Emily though back to official news for the sequel it's running with the tagline quote anyone can survive five nights this time there will be no second chances and from that tagline a lot of people are suspecting that one of the main characters is actually going to die by the end back in October of last year Emma Tammy also had this to say about a possible sequel film we're definitely excited to keep making more movies in this world this one was tied into the first game and we would probably focus on tying the second one into the second game and so on and so forth but anything could happen we'll have to see now of course that interview happened before we knew a second film was officially in the works but now that we know a second one's coming of course it's going to be tied into the second game and we actually got to see just how faithful they're sticking to the original vision of the second game back in august for the 10th anniversary of fnaf blumhouse and scott games released a bunch of teasers of the construction of the animatronics the toys as well as the withers and of course we cannot forget about mangle as well with all of these characters looking identical to what they look like in the second fnaf game through these teasers we could also see some concept art for the withered animatronics so we can get a feel for what these characters will look like when they're finished and like i said it looks like they pulled them just right out of the game and then they also released four pages of the screenplay for this film though the trick was that three of these pages are actually fake and only one of them is a legit page from the script once again i'd love to know which page do you think is real and then going back to reports thanks to daniel rpk who has been a very reliable leaker for these films he's gone on record to say that even though this second film will still be pg-13 it's aiming to deliver a larger focus on horror after feedback and let's be honest some criticism from the first film which sounds amazing especially because they're getting the withers and mangle in there i mean those guys are prime horror material but now you may be wondering all right we know the release date for this film and we know they're working on the animatronics but when exactly does filming begin well we've heard reports from collider that filming begins the end of october as well as matthew lillard himself saying that filming yep does begin in october i you know i'm available i'm doing tv show right now i'm doing fnaf in october but i'm available 
Greg, bro, everyone knows that I'm available and if anyone wants me, they can find me if they need me. But if you're still not convinced by those two sources, well, luckily, Scott Cawthon has our back. Recently, John FNAF was hosting a charity stream for the Cancer Research Institute, and in classic Scott fashion, he popped in and threw a casual 10 grand on the table. And then, in a chat message, he officially confirmed filming begins in October. He also said that he's gonna try to get some photos for the community. So once filming begins this month, I'd assume he's gonna start posting some teasers on that Scott Games Twitter account, and we've heard reports from the official Louisiana film website that the movie will be filming from the 28th of October through the 31st of January, and that the movie is operating under the working title Music Box, which once again is teasing the involvement of the puppet in this film. But now lastly, for info in regards to the second FNAF movie, do you want to see the movie early? And if that answer was yes, Blumhouse is actually hosting a sweepstakes to win two tickets to the premiere of the second film, which is crazy that they're hosting a sweepstakes this early. But if you want to try your luck to enter, I'll leave the link down below. And then also for the sweepstakes, we've actually gotten our first look at the logo for the FNAF 2 film. And who would have thought it's just Five Nights at Freddy's with a two slept on the end. Interestingly enough, it does seem like they're going for a blue aesthetic this time around, which honestly, I kind of a dig it's gonna match pretty well with toy bonnie all right well now let's move on to kind of the headlining news for today's video and that is the report that apparently the third fnaf movie is already in production despite the second film not releasing for another year in fact despite the second film not even beginning filming yet daniel rpk who again has been a very reliable insider he's reporting that blumhouse is already starting production on the third fnaf film which honestly shouldn't come as that much of a shock like i said earlier matthew Lillard has already signed on for three FNAF films, and it's not like it's unusual that films that do really, really well get sequels greenlit very, very quickly. Based on Emma's comment earlier about the second FNAF film drawing heavy influence from the second FNAF game, and even from Scott himself that each movie will focus on their appropriate game number. I'm following kind of the same formula where the first movie is focused on the first game, so I'm going to try to carry on that tradition onward with future movies. It's extremely likely that the third FNAF movie is going to stick very, very closely to the third FNAF game. Likely happening a few years after the events of the first and second film. I doubt it's going to be 30 years like the game universe because poof, that's a really long time. Aging all the characters by 30 years, you'd have to do probably a lot of recasts. So I doubt it's going to be 30 years like the games, but definitely quite a few years. Likely taking place in Fazbear Frights with Mike having one final standoff against William. But I would really love to know what are your thoughts on a third FNAF movie in production so early and what do you think is going to happen in the third film? So that is all the info we have on the first, second, and third FNAF movie. And like I said earlier, Matthew Lillard did sign a three-picture deal, but my question is... What happens after three? Because let's be honest here, folks. FNAF is massive. These films are going to do extremely, extremely well. There is just no way they stop at three. Even Matthew Lillard himself wants to do, quote, a bunch of FNAF films. We've had Daniel RPK that Blumhouse is interested in doing spinoff films in the FNAF universe. They're already starting production on a spinoff for Megan, another successful Blumhouse film that released last year. With that title being an erotic thriller titled Soulmate, I mean, who knows? Maybe Blumhouse wants to do an erotic thriller with Sister Location and make Adult Theory canon. And even Scott himself recently in Daco's anniversary interview talked about the possibility of a Fazbear Fright TV show. Fazbear Fright's ever being like a TV show like Goosebumps where it's like a series of some of the best stories or something adapted? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and that's something that can definitely happen, um, especially now that the first movie came out and was successful i think that really opens the door to lots of other potential opportunities the only thing to be mindful of is i don't want to oversaturate the market and just create too much and i think that um, sometimes sometimes we get a little bit of that where franchises have movies and too many tv shows and it just kind of waters everything down but uh, but I really do like that idea, and it, it is definitely something that could happen, for sure. So all of this to say, even when FNAF 3 comes out, I do not think that's going to be the end of FNAF films or TV. I still think there is a lot on the way in terms of FNAF on the big screen, on the TV screen, and these trilogy, right, FNAF 1, 2, and 3, 
this is just the beginning. But with all that being said, I'd love to know what are your thoughts? What are you hoping to see in the second and third FNAF movie? What are your hopes for spin-off films or TV shows? And that's gonna do it for this kind of all over the place news video in regards to all the info we have on FNAF shows and movies, but I still hope you enjoyed. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.